Hello, I'm teacher Mariah and today I have a special little stuffed animal here with me. It has something to do with the theme of the week. Can you guess what it is? Let's begin. But first, let's check in with Lexi for today's Hello Song. Hello kids! Today, we will learn about a dog and how it looks. So, we're going to sing about how it looks, okay? The dog has brown and tan fur. Now you repeat after me. The dog has brown and tan fur. The dog has blue clothing. The dog has blue clothing and he has a has golden eyes and he has golden eyes see you tomorrow see you tomorrow okay friends it's time for our song of the week and our song of the week is bingo now guys, isn't this one of your most favorite songs? It's so fun to sing. So here's how it goes. There was a farmer who had a dog and Bingo was his name. Oh, B-I-N-G-O, 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 and Bingo was his name. Oh, there was a farmer who had a dog and Bingo was his name. Oh, I-N-G-O, 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 and Bingo was his name -o. There was a farmer who had a dog and Bingo was his name -o. N -G -O. N -G -O. N -G -O, and Bingo was his name -o. There was a farmer who had a dog and Bingo was his name -o. Geo, 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 and Bingo was his name. Oh, there was a farmer who had a dog, and Bingo was his name. Oh, 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 and Bingo was his name. Oh, there was a farmer who had a dog, and Bingo was his name. Oh. And Bingo was his name Oh, Hello friends, it's time to build our theme shelf and that means we pull out our mystery box and see what we have. Now guys, we are in the animals quarter because you have just finished as of last week the nine different weeks that we had that were shapes, uh, shapes themed for our shapes quarter. And so when I start to pull things out of the bag, it's going to have something to do with an animal. You're going to know pretty quickly which, which theme it is. Let's start with a book. Here you go. We have the 101 Dalmatians. So let's put that in our shelf. Now, what animal do you see on the front of that book? That's right. It's a dog a Dalmatian to be specific. And that means that our theme of the week is dogs. So let's build some more things on our shelf. Let's start with another book. Now this one is called Lady and the Tramp. It's another Disney movie about dogs. We'll stick that right there. And we have a stuffed animal and this was from the opener as well as the song that Lexi did. So let's stick that there. And to top it all off, we have some figurines and I'm just gonna pull these all out and we'll add them one by one. First of all, we have a police officer here because um, dogs help police officers. You could actually also put some glasses on your theme shelf because dogs help us seeing eye dogs. We have a Doberman pincher figurine. When I was a kid, we had a Doberman. It was a nice Doberman and its name was Birdie. I didn't name the dog, but it was a pretty bad name to be honest, Birdie. But that was his dog, that was his name, Sweet Dog. And this is a Great Dane. They're very, very big. Actually, our neighbors, when we used to live in Tampa, they had two Great Danes. And this dog, I can't quite tell, but I think it is a Collie Dog figurine, but we'll put that here to add to our, th our theme shelf. And ta-da, 
we have our theme shop. But wait, one more thing I wanted to show you was this doodaddy. Now this right here is something that I had as a child about your age, a little bit older than you, and it's stuck with me throughout the whole years. It used to be wood with some painted painting on it, but it got really old. So I just went ahead and painted it white and then I gave this to Lexi. So this is something that Lexi uses with her uh, colored pencils and it's a very long, they call them sort of a hot dog, but it's called a dachshund dog. And uh, I thought that was really neat. Now this is too big for our theme shelf. So we're gonna put it over by our theme board. And uh, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I can't wait to see what theme shelf you guys come up with for the dog's theme. So be sure to share them with us. All right, well, let's head to the other side of the shelf and start to build our theme board. Thanks guys. Okay, friends, you did a wonderful job on our theme shelf. Now it's time to do our theme board. And we're gonna start it with a brand new header. And it is the animals quarter. So we're gonna start out by sticking that on the top. And that's gonna be the same there for the next nine weeks. And we're going to have our theme of the week next, and that is dogs. So we'll just kind of stick this right here. And now before we do our, well, let's do our sentence cards next. Let's pick two. And uh, we're going to start with this one. There are many different breeds of dogs. And you guys will see with the flashcards that come with the program, all of the different dog breeds. And there's some really neat coloring sheets that come with your curriculum as well. And then we have this next sentence, which says, some dogs have long hair, some have short hair, and some have both. Now, when I was a kid, I had a couple of different types of dogs. One of them was a Pekingese, and that one had long hair. And another one was that Doberman that we had when we were a, a little older, and that one had short hair. So all dogs, they, they, look, they look very different. And speaking of different breeds and different looks of dogs, you can add to your theme shelf some of the animal or dog flashcards. And let's just look at a few of them today. We have here the Australian Shepherd, and we'll just stick that there. And we have the Beagle. Let's kind of slide that in here. A Boxer, my aunt had a Boxer one time, and he was a very jumpy dog. Very, very sweet, but he was very, very jumpy. And we have the Bulldog, and you can switch those out every day if you like. And to finish up our theme board, we have our song of the week, which is Bingo. And there's another song as well. Um, so you can just pick whichever one you want to have on your theme board. And there you have it, theme board updated. All right, guys, now meet me at the desk for our wake up warm ups. Hello, friends. Today, we are going to organize dogs into the order of popularity. And what we're going to do is we have this sheet called the most popular dogs in America and it ranks dogs from 1 to 20 as far as the most popular dogs in America. Now what we're going to do is we're going to rank numbers 1 through 5 which means put them in order from 1 to 5. So I'm going to put our sheet over to the side here and let's kind of leave it here so we can still see it but Number one, according to our sheet, is the Labrador Retriever. So that's got to be number one. Let's find the lab. Labrador Retriever. Oh, there it is. So that's the most popular dog in America. Now, the next dog we're going to try to find is the second most popular dog in America called the German Shepherd. Let's find the German Shepherd. Golden Retriever. No, that's not the German Shepherd. Is this the German Shepherd? Yes, that is the German Shepherd. Now, when I was a kid, I actually had two German Shepherds. I had a one that looked just like this, named Raja, and I had another one that was white and black, and it was named Ronnie, and they were really great pets. I actually had no idea that they were sometimes used as police dogs. All right, what's the third most popular dog in America? According to our sheet, it's the Golden Retriever. Let's find the Golden Retriever. Hmm, there it is, the Golden Retriever. Let's put this right here. That's the third most popular pet dog pet in the United States. 
Next, the bulldog. Is this the bulldog or is this the bulldog? Do you know? This is the bulldog. So let's put the bulldog fourth. And last but not least, the beagle is the fifth most popular dog in America. So there you have it. The, the first most popular dog in America is the Labrador Retriever, followed by the German Shepherd, then the Golden Retriever, then the Bulldog, and the Beagle. Have you ever seen any of these dogs? Maybe some of you actually have some of these dogs. You can use your sheet and do even more sorting with all of the dogs from the flashcards that are in your pack. Have fun with this warm up. My A to Z Books presents the letter P piano in More Than Just a Pretty Pockle Bell. Pockle Bell is the name of a composer. Porter the piano was perfectly poised during concerts in Paris. People paid big bucks to get the prized front row seats at the concert pavilion. With panache and power, he played Pockle Bell's Canon in D. That's a very famous uh, piece on the piano. One day, Pam from Pennsylvania was feeling pessimistic and pained over her lost pug, Percy. But then she had the opportunity to hear Porter play, and soon she felt more positive and optimistic. Porter the piano was pleased to provide support, and later at 7 p.m., Pam even found her pet. Please pretend that this pet is a pug. The end. You can print this book in black and white from your curriculum library and trace the letter P. Great job on your warm-ups, kids. Now, it's time to cozy up because Teacher Ashley is going to read us a story. Today's book is Dogs by Emily Gravitt. I love dogs. I love big dogs and small dogs. I love tough dogs and soft dogs. I love dogs that bark and dogs that don't. I love dogs that play and dogs that won't. I love hairy dogs and bald dogs. Stripey dogs and spotty dogs. I love slow dogs and fast dogs. Shabby and chic dogs. I love dogs that are good and dogs that are bad. Uh-oh, look, he chewed up the slipper. But the dog that I love best, let's see. Hmm, which dog do you think this person loves that is best? Let's see is any dog that won't chase me. <gasps> it was a cat talking, not a person. The end. I hope you enjoyed Emily Gravitt's book called Dogs. Friends, thank you for joining me at my work table. Now remember, all activities we do at the work table need to be completed with teacher or caregiver support. Let's see what we have coming up next in our alphabet notebook. Today, we will be completing the letter P, piano. Let's find, oh, I opened right up to it. So here we have our letter craft. We're going to make it look just like this. I have our pieces over here and we'll do that in just a moment. We're gonna set it up to look like a piano. This is the letter P. 
And on this page, you will get to practice tracing your uppercase P's and your lowercase P's. And you can color the letter craft up here if you would like. So let's put together the letter P piano craft really quickly. Here we go. Ta-da! Check it out. We've got our piano with the keyboard here and a bench and even some music for the pianist to play. Okay, so that completes our letter craft notebook. Let's take a look at our activities for today. So today's activities are, the first one here says, give the dog a bone. Your job on this worksheet is to help each dog find the bone it hid by tracing the line. So you get to trace this line to help the dog find a bone. Where's the bone? It's sticking up out of the dirt between the flowers. And here we have another line that leads to a fire hydrant. Do you see the bone? It's behind the hydrant. And this dog hid its bone behind the doghouse. Okay, and our next worksheet is called Paw Count. It says, count and color in the correct number of paw prints in each group. So we have a number here. What number is this? Three, that's correct. So you will need to count one, two, three and color in those three paw prints. Same here, you have the number one. And how about on this line? That's a two, very good. Okay, so those were our activities for today. I hope you enjoy completing these. Hello friends, today we have a fun craft for you to complete with the help of your teacher or caregiver. This is an envelope dog craft. To complete this craft, you will need an envelope, templates, scissors, tape, a glue stick, some crayons, or some markers. Here's what you'll do. So first, you're gonna take your envelope and your scissors. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your scissors and cut your envelope in half. And then you're going to take your envelope and take your tape and then you'll put a piece of tape right here, just here. And maybe a little bit on the sides. So we're gonna go like that. And then, after you do that, you'll have a square. And then you can cut out your eyes, and you can glue those on here. You can glue your nose. And then how you're gonna glue your tongue, is you're gonna cut it out, and then you glue the top part up here. You can tape it, and then It'll be sticking out a little bit on the end. And then you'll glue the ears or tape them on the sides. And if you don't have the colored template, you can just use your crayons or your markers. So I'm gonna go work on mine and I'll show you what it looks like when it's finished. Ta-da! Here's my envelope dog craft. See how it's open right here? That's where you stick your hand. Oh, wow. I hope you enjoy this craft. I can't wait to see what you create. Bye. Friends, it's Play-Doh time. Today we are going to make puppy paw prints using black Play-Doh.
made our puppy paw print. Well done. It was so wonderful getting to hang out today with you at Circle Time Club. We had so much fun and I hope you had fun too. Now remember, when you go back and make your activities, make them unique and special to you. We'd love to see them. Write to us sometime. From all of us here at Home CEO Academy, I hope you have an incredible rest of your day and we'll see you again soon. Goodbye. Hey, you could be larger than life.